I recently read a study that said that the entertainment industry loses over $29 billion a year because of digital video piracy. In addition to that, 230,000 jobs are lost. To combat this, a lot of studios are simply going with the air-gapped route, where they disconnect all of the computers in post-production from the internet. Now, while this seems logical at the front, a lot of people miss the fact that most instances of piracy happen whether or not the post-production machines on the job were connected to the internet. For example, in 2005, Star Wars Episode III was leaked to the world just hours before its wide release. Albert Valente stole a copy of the movie from the post-production house where he worked. He's then sent it around to a bunch of his friends, including a guy named Mark Hoagland, who leaked it to the internet on May 18th. The FBI was able to trace the leak to Hoagland and were at his home within hours. In 2009, Gilberto Sanchez bought a copy of X-Men Origins on DVD in the streets of New York before it was released. This was something that Sanchez actually did pretty regularly. And then in this particular case, when he was done watching it, he uploaded it to megaupload.com. A few weeks later, the FBI was able to trace the leak to his home. In 2011, the movie Super 8 was leaked to the internet. On the leaked version of the movie, there was a watermark that said H. Stern. Howard Stern's team had been sent a copy of the DVD so that Howard could interview J.J. Abrams about the film. In the case of Super 8, they were able to track the leak to the Howard Stern show, but they couldn't track it to the exact staff member who had uploaded the film. However, new session-based watermarking tools embed the identifying information of the exact person who is watching a video into the video file itself. Frame.io offers this through Watermark ID. Watermark ID allows you to embed the name, email address, and IP address of the person viewing the video at the time of playback. With Watermark ID, you can place this text anywhere in the frame that you want, and it will automatically left align, center align, or right align, depending on where you've placed the text within the frame. Watermark ID is great for sharing things with people outside of your team, like directors, producers, or even Howard Stern but it's also great for keeping things safe within your team from people like, you know, Albert Valente. If someone on your team does need to download a file, Watermark ID will allow them to download as the transcode of the watermarked file is happening in the background. This is a lot better than the hour or more it can take to transcode before a download with other tools on the market. From time to time, there will be people on your team who need to have access to clean versions. They might be doing a color grade, visual effects, or other mastering work. Thankfully, Watermark ID allows admins the controls that they need to be able to enable certain people access to clean versions and others access to only watermarked versions. If someone ends up in that group that does need to have a watermarked version of a video, you can give them some user overrides. They can have control over things like positioning so as not to block things like graphics, or they can change the opacity or color while still keeping your video content secure. So what about you? How could you use Watermark ID? Let us know in the comments below. The person with the most unique answer will get three months of our enterprise plan along with Watermark ID, so keep those comments coming. Thanks for watching and stay creative.